<sighs> After a nice hard day of work and the super hot sun, it's time to relax and check my phone. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's your boy Asher here coming at you with a not so fun video. I wanted to come back to my channel starting fresh and positive, but today it's just not gonna be that way, I'm sorry. Warning, if you do not like furry drama, or drama at all, then please click away from this video because this talks about furry drama. Furry drama here. You've been warned. For once, there is furry drama outside of the furry fandom through the form of a controversial advertisement by the company Vitamin Water. You know, those little uh, drinks that are supposed to be good for you and that are also like flavorful or something yeah yeah that you know this right here yeah that's what I'm talking about so I'm gonna break down what happened the pros and cons of this advertisement where they went wrong how they can fix it and then my personal thoughts and feelings about this ad now here is the controversial ad in question play the clip about what we saw here. We saw a green fursuit brushing somebody's hair, some words go by, and then he's just smiling in the mirror. I will go over the pros and cons of what this video does for the furry fandom. Pro number one, a big company tried to appeal to the furry fandom. This is a good thing because we know that big companies and advertisers are trying to represent us a little more in mainstream media. Which brings me to con number two. The fursuiter in question was shown in an innocent manner. I cannot tell you how much of a blessing in disguise that would be for this advertisement. Many mainstream medias portray the furry fandom in a negative or sexual manner, which is not okay. Most furries do not want to be known by inappropriate matter. And that brings me to con number three. Nothing was specifically said about the furry fandom in a bad manner. The words shown across the screen do not directly say anything bad about the furry fandom, which is an amazing thing to have because they could have, with all of their publicity, they could have said something really bad about furries. And that's a really good thing to have. But all good things must come to an end. Now we have to talk about the elephant in the room, the cons about this advertisement. Con number one, whoever made this advertisement did not do their research. Because of that, it backfired on them in like an unproportionate manner. Like this got so much backlash that companies might not even touch furries again. Con number two, 
a big company such as Vitamin Water supported a not so great company called DHgate, I think, which makes ripoff costumes of somebody's property, somebody's character, somebody's persona, and a huge, huge company such as Vitamin Water supported that. And last but not least, con number three. For such a big company, it seems that they had quite a small budget for an advertisement. They could have just hired, I don't know, an actual fursuiter. They could have bought an actual fursuit. Why would they choose to buy such a low quality mascot costume for their advertisements? That's just bad business. So now let's talk about Vitamin Water's advertisement team and marketing department. Somebody thought that putting a furry or at least a mascot in an advertisement video would be a good idea. Which I agree. Fursuits are really, really hot. And hydration is one of the most important things to a furry or fursuiter. So why not quench that thirst with a little bit of vitamin water? Their intentions were in the right place. They just made a couple mistakes on the way. The whole thing could have been resolved if somebody just did their homework and just did a little research about furries and fursuits and all that kind of junk. So with that being said, what can vitamin water do to make it up to the furries? First, they can take that fursuit and get rid of it. Somebody made that fursuit. Somebody bought that fursuit. Somebody owns that character. That's not right to take it. What needs to happen is that Vitamin Water needs to own up to their mistake and address it. Vitamin Water, we want an apology. We know you didn't mean to hurt us, but you did and you need to own up to it. You need to be the bigger person or in this case, bigger person, and own up to your mistakes. Also, I'm just gonna show you what some other people have been saying. Like, some people are for this ad, some people are against this ad, some people are really confused, and yeah, so just, just take this time to look at some of those comments, and yeah, keep reading some of those pictures. Pause the video if you need to read it, you know, all that good stuff, and yeah. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, we're good. So, what did I think about that advertisement? Personally, I didn't really like it. I mean, I was just scrolling across Instagram and I saw somebody made a post about it. So I went on to Facebook and I saw the advertisement for myself and I didn't really like it. I mean, I don't really drink vitamin water in the first place, so it doesn't really bother me. But what does bother me is that just furries were represented, but it wasn't represented in the best way possible. And that sucks and I don't really like it, but you know, it happened and I care, but it doesn't really affect me, if that makes sense. That's just how I feel about it. Let me guys know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you really like this advertisement and you didn't see anything wrong with it? Did you absolutely hate this advertisement and you're gonna forever boycott vitamin water? Please let me know in the comments below. I really wanna know what you guys think. I wanna start up a conversation and I wanna read what you guys have to say about this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment below what you'd like to see next, and click that red subscribe button for more quality content from yours truly. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.